So we got some cucumber plants here, this one and this one, and it's just starting to flower. So like, that's really exciting. And we have four different tomato plants and uh, let's see, one of them already has like a few, yeah, this one's got tomatoes on it already. Here, here, here. Uh, yeah, this one too. It's always been my childhood dream to become a farmer one day and I love fighting and that's just what I do. I've been doing it since I was five years old. So, you know, fighting's all about destroying and conquering and, you know, being the best and I'm gonna, you know, beat up my opponent and then gardening's the opposite. You think about nurturing and trying to keep things alive and so, yeah, it's cool. Gotta have both. <laughs> There is shit coming up everywhere, man. Oh, yeah, and this other thing Pat did was he, uh, in a, before the winter started, or at the end of the summer, he just sprayed a bunch of, like, random seeds everywhere. This little dude didn't grow for a whole year, and then all of a sudden he did. And now I'm wondering how big is this actually going to get. I think people are really excited to see me, you know, come down to Brazil. You know, not many champions, like Ronda is probably much the only other champion that went to Defender Belt in Brazil. And so I think there's just this narrative out there, like, oh, you're going into hostile territory. And I kind of just try to go with an open heart and just like, you know, it's gotta be a pretty awesome. It can't be like do all doom and gloom. So it's truly an honor to, to have this opportunity and I'm really, you know, gonna make the best of it. And I'm gonna do my best to, to put on a good performance. And uh, it's gonna be one to remember for sure. vem evoluindo muito a parte de trocação, tem um chão bom, é, venceu a, a Joana duas vezes, né, que é, querendo ou não, na categoria era a menina que todo mundo falava que era imbatível. Eu tô indo preparada para tudo, né, espero que ela tenha treinado bastante, dedicado bastante, porque a luta vai ser difícil, tanto para mim quanto para ela, né. Bom, hoje a gente vai no cacique de Ramos, né? há muito tempo, há um ano atrás, eu fiz um pedido lá na Tamarineira para trazer a vitória, para poder é, disputar o cinturão novamente e hoje está acontecendo né, de eu poder disputar o cinturão e eu vou lá pedir proteção, pedir luz, para chegar na hora da luta, tá tudo 100%. nossa descendência é indígena, né? E a Umbanda nada mais é do que a energia da natureza, né? Então, a, a gente busca na árvore a energia dela, a força, é, ela, as raízes dela que são profundas, né? Então, a gente quer isso, enraizar nossas raízes para que elas sejam o mais profundas possível que a nossa árvore não, não caia quando o vento balançar, né? Então... Quando eu estiver lá na luta, que o vento balançar, eu vou estar firme e forte igual a Tamadeira. Olha lá, ó. É nossa a homenagem do o bairro aí que os amigos fizeram. A gente sempre treina aí, faz os treinamentos, então estamos todos de acordo, tudo fechamento junto sempre, até a vitória. Chegando uma, uma hora para a luta, já próximo da luta, semana já, então a gente... Imagina que fosse a parte supina, tiver que arremessar ela. Isso. Vai, massa e energia, vai. Perfeito. O Alexandre Volkanovic é um cara duro, é um cara que procura lutar vindo para sempre o tempo todo, atacando. Vou piando, procurando a luta de solo também. Prepara, 3, 2, 1, vai. Foi, 8 segundinhos, movimento vai. Mas estou bem tranquilo, a gente treinou bastante para neutralizar esse lado dele, esse ponto forte dele, a gente chegar lá dentro e, e poder vencer. Tempo. Feliz, a minha carreira vem dando mundo de novo, a gente vem de duas, duas vitórias bem, bem convincentes, dois nocaudes, então isso é importante, então isso me deixa mais tranquilo. Lógico, a gente respeita o nosso adversário, mas eu estou em busca da vitória. Isso aqui é uma oportunidade muito grande, continuar esse caminho de vitórias. Mais uma, peito. 
Vamos para o cinturão, sim, eu acho que vamos respeitar, vamos passo a passo. O próximo passo agora é vencer é, no sábado. Perfeito. Eu sei que passando essa luta, a gente está muito próximo já de ser campeão novamente. Vamos, 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 vamos. Tempo! This here is our Saturday sparring class. It's usually comprised of uh, up and coming, aspiring mixed martial artists. I want everybody to come in here and have themselves grow. You know what I'm saying? I'll just give them what I've experienced in it. Let them take it and do with it whatever they want. Okay, keep that movement, keep that pressure on him. And same thing for you. Okay. But I know I need to come here to, to continue developing and continue excelling as a fighter. We're seeing the fruit that is bare as I go and fight Anderson Silva next week, so. You know, it's going to be, uh, and that fight is going to be good. I think that's going to be eye-opener for a lot of the fans as well. So uh, here we are. Here we go. Burn some calories. Watch my opponent. Maybe watch myself fight first. I'm either watching the fight on here or use it as med meditation time. Just to gather my thoughts, visualization, manifesting what I want. And uh, I'm, re I'm ready for all the lights, all the camera, all the who I'm away, all that stuff. I can take negative energy and turn it into positive energy. And uh, this is an opportunity to do that. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I can play this a little bit. It's just. <clears throat> it's getting a little better this time too. Let's see. I'm feeling really good right now. I've, you know, I've put in a really long training camp and I've grown a lot. I'm faster, smarter, stronger, better. It's a very positive vibe, very positive energy right now, and it's really just because I just made that choice to be positive. You know, I, I definitely spend a a big majority of my camps like beating myself up and you know just trying to be perfect and stuff like that and then I realized like it's not about that it's just about going there and just being myself and, and having fun with this and so when I remember that and I I can harness that I'm a really dangerous fight for anybody so it's all in my head it's all about you know what I what I decide to to make of things. Hey man, don't let my mom, don't show this on anybody to my mom gonna be mad. Cause <laughs> you're not supposed to put no drinks on the piano. <laughs> That's like the cardinal rule. Don't put drinks on the piano. Oh, mom. Sorry mom. 